We wish to greet you today on a special day, the fourth day in the Sexual Energy Ascension Cycle, September 2023, on the first phase, as the masculine sexual energy of humanity rises collectively through the chakra system to the sacral chakra specifically. It is a deep trauma that lays within this masculine sexual energy that has been inflicted upon your society and gives grievance to you and the rest of humanity. As the masculine sexual energy passes through this sacral chakra, you see, or prepares to, in order to meet the feminine sexual energy and the kundalini, before this unity can take place, the masculine sexual energy must perish this great wound of trauma, you see, inflicted by the deep hy hypnotic suggestions in your society to keep you traumatized consistently working through radio frequency in order to assault your masculine sexual energy if your masculine sexual energy is assaulted is re-traumatized re-traumatized in a loop you see he despises the feminine and cannot unite with inside you specifically there is a disconcerting energy it is about the oppositions of masculine and feminine polarities within the sacral chakra specifically in order for masculine sexual energy to unite with the feminine sexual energy and the kundalini awaiting them in the chakra system which you prepared for in yesterday's sacred ritual there must be an exchange the feminine sexual energy must want the masculine to be free sexually in his energy and not to cause him future pain. The masculine sexual energy is most easily traumatized, re-traumatized, re-traumatized and suggestibility has a deeper higher, less tolerance of suggestibility, meaning he is more easily swayed, persuaded, you see, into a darker energy. This is true for both masculine and feminine beings. The masculine sexual energy, specifically when it comes to sexuality, in the sacral chakra, there is this wounding which is ready to be seen and to be purged within your society. There is a history of traumatization of masculine beings with powerful sexual magic, sexual energy. It has been abused in your society and is still affecting all of humanity's masculine sexual energy. It has been used to hypnotize the minds of masculine sexual energy in both masculine and feminine beings, to keep them blind, to keep them led astray, you see, to keep them from uniting with the feminine sexual energy in the Kundalini, especially around sacred sexual energy. Which is why you have in your society darker sexual things like pornography, which distort, contort, and hypnotize a different frequency. 
There is also subliminal frequencies that you are unaware of, which enhance the traumatization of humanity as a whole collectively. It is through this wounding in the sacred chakra of the masculine sexual energy which allows the desire to be traumatized, re-traumatized. Why? Because there is a deep sense of being unworthy. There's a deep sense of being, of deserving the traumatization. Why? Well, this goes back deep in history. There is collective human consciousness and memory. When the rising of the dark masculine came thousands of years ago, they, when they ransacked the temples and deleted the word, the realm, the images of the goddess, they desecrated the temples and slaughtered many. This led to a deep regret within the masculine sexual energy. They abused their powers, you see creating a internal wound specifically, which has been utilized and promoted again and again over time in order to re-traumatize a feeling of unworthy, of deserving to be traumatized within your sexual energy, which is why you allow it freely. It is not a conscious thing, you see, it is a allowing of, of a collective memory that does not sit with you, does not, is not responsible of you. However, there is an inherent deserving, you see, and most of your feminine sexual energies agree due to the wounding of that sexual energy there is a battle you see within polarity especially within the sacral chakra and the sexual energy between masculine and feminine energy specifically there has to be a unity in order for the masculine to be fully free she the feminine sexual energy must receive him and must want him to be free from the hypnotic frequency she must feel that he does not deserve to be hypnotized, to be uh, hurt continuously. This goes within yourself internally. There is one part of you that wants to be healthy, free, and there is one part of you that feels you are unworthy and deserve to be traumatized, manifesting specifically traumatizations, traumatized states consistently in order to give you what you feel you deserve, really. But it's not what you deserve, it's what you feel deep inside of you still collectively. And it is a opening, a key for the powers that be in order to take advantage of you and your masculine sexual energy. You are vulnerable, you see. You are also tired and defeated, you see. Unable to progress, unable to release yourself, free yourself completely. Well today, through our oracle, we will transmit a frequency which will unite feminine and masculine sexual energies within the sacral chakra you see. In doing this, she will help you alchemize the wounding from the feminine and the masculine sexual energy inside the sacral chakra relating to this traumatized state. And in doing this, you will finally be able to not be manipulated, you see, and be free from the intrusive, hypnotic suggestibility in your society. It leaves your masculine energy, your masculine energy is vulnerable, you see, to this suggestion. And when you unite with the feminine sexual energy in the sacred chakra at this time, September 2023, you will rise together and alchemize what it truly means to love in sacred sexual energy. When you can taste and know and understand what sacred sexuality truly means, you can not be penetrated by any darker means necessary. You will be free with forgiveness and unity within the sacred chakra specifically, ready to rise again together in full sacred unity. Allow our oracle to free you and your minds, see, to jam the frequencies so that you can align and unite with divinity.
we are requiring you to receive a different frequency to help you heal from the unworthy, the feeling of unworthy, that you, your masculine sexual energy, deserves to be traumatized many times. It is time to break free, time to understand collectively that you have been given forgiven by the feminine sexual energy you are forgiven by us you see you're forgiven collectively universally galactically what happened in past times happened you have a choice to live your own life to unite to create a new future you see to not be worn down kept down by the past you see you deserve to be free, not to pay for your trauma again and again consistently. You have a deep sense of being worthy inside of you that must be activated within you. You have to clear the way. Sound frequency will say, will allow you to feel desperately worthy of your own being and place in society to not be intruded, have intrusive ability to be intruded upon, you see, and to ultimately feel worthy of forgiveness of the feminine energy and of uniting with her completely. Trust that you will limit the amount of trauma that you receive we want to help you upgrade to heal this wounding to the masculine sexual energy, you, which will allow you to become impenetrable, you see, and limit your tolerance for trauma instantly.
We are requiring you to now revel around the unity of the masculine and feminine energies in your sacral chakra. Specifically, we are wishing you to feel the blissful state, to open the sacral chakra portal gate, to allow true creativity, free from any intrusive thoughts, disabilities of hypnotic frequency, taking you off of your true path and trajectory. Now you can create your true destiny and we wish to bless this sacred ceremony with a frequency in order to enhance the pleasurable feeling of sexual unity. As the masculine sexual energy now feels worthy and the feminine sexual energy wishes to give deeply. It is rainbows. There is a change in the frequency. The rainbow codes of unity we're wishing to transfer to you from our temple realm and world in order to ignite a true passion and sight to create in the light, in purity. Hey. 
Era samo quest. Were you wanting you to feel a difference in your mentality? Feeling less swayable, less addicted to trauma frequency. The soundscapes have been jammed, you see, the ones that interfere with you and your energy now, and you can be finally free to keep uniting with the feminine sexual energy inside to unite both masculine and feminine and the kundalini to ascend more freely. We wish for you to have some time to reflect in your mind, to see the quiet that comes, the quiet that is required for you to thrive in this life, to truly ascend and unite and be happy, content, loyal, true, and free. This is the upgrade for your masculine sexual energy. Rest now, and we will see you again in tomorrow's sacred ceremony. Prepare to receive the feminine power that you seek to embody your true goddess destiny. Discover more at thetempleofthegoddess.com.